Okay, backing up your Drupal site part one, the SQL part. Um, there's two parts to the Drupal sphere, whatever you want to call it. There's the, the files and the database, and that's really with any web app. Um, uh, you know, This is on a shared hosting, so I don't have to worry about backing up my server or my configs or anything like that. Just the Drupal files and the Drupal database. That's it. Um, so the first part is the database. It's really easy to do this. Um, I've got a module called Backup and Migrate. Um, this is really the best way to do it. Um, I love the heck out of backup and migrate. I use it a lot. I use it on every site because why not make a backup? You know, the database is like 10 megs. I mean, doesn't make sense not to. Um, so once you go get that installed, now I'm going to show you how to configure it. Um, I'm going to configure two uh, under, it's under content management. But I'm going to configure two types of jobs and then uh, two uh, schedules for them. You gotta make sure that your cron is running. I think I got a video out there for it. If not, uh, let me know and I'll create one. Uh, but the first things first, um, create a destination to put the backups. Um, I've already created one on mine um, called Outside Public Root. Basically, it says from the directory you're in, move back to directories and then put it in DB backups, which is a folder that I created on my. Um, on my shared hosting outside of the public root so it's in the same folder as I created and you can name it whatever you want I just database backups because it makes it easy but DB backups is in the same folder as public root not or public HTML not in public HTML very important distinction because if it is in public HTML web accessible and people can grab your SQL database that's not good um, next thing create your files uh, or create your, I'm sorry, not your files, your profiles. Um, I'm going to create two profiles, a uh, daily profile. As you can see, I've done this before already. Um, I'm going to call it tutorial daily. It's going to be the, the backup name that I'm using. Um, and the reason I'm using that is so that I can differentiate. Um, you know, I'm going to keep five of these on hand. Um, that's, and then that's when we get over to the schedules. But I'm going to keep five of these dailies on hand um, that I can go back from and it's going to append a timestamp to it so I know which day is which. Um, I'm not going to compress it. You can add gzip or bzip or zip compression, but I'm not going to add any compression. And if this is a production site, I highly recommend the AES encryption and also read up on AES encryption or encryption to know how to decrypt as well. Um, the database options, you can include or exclude what you want. Um, if you know what you want to include or exclude, for my dailies, I just leave it at what it has for the default so that it doesn't get the cache or the watchdog stuff or the session data. Um, but I always send an email if it succeeds or fails because I want to know personally. Um, or take it offline if you want. But I'm not going to take it offline. I'm just going to save it um, and create my weekly profile. And the weekly profile, uh, I'm getting everything. Session data, cache data, everything. Uh, so I'm going to call it weekly profile, tutorial weekly. I put the timestamp on there because I want it on there. Again, no compression. But for database options, um, I'm going to make sure that everything is unchecked uh, because I want everything. Save it. Okay, now i got two profiles, but the profiles don't mean anything unless I'm going to manually do it or create a schedule. Um, a schedule, is, you need cron if you want to do your schedules. So. Like I said, if I didn't create a video about on cron, let me know and I'll create one because it's really um, it's a good thing to have. A lot of modules use it. Um, so I'm going to create my schedule. My first one is going to be the uh, daily schedule. And the, my daily backup schedule, I'm going to use the daily profile. And I'm going to backup every one day. Um, uh, and I'm going to keep. Five. Um, and like it says, the number of backup files to keep before deleting the old ones. Uh, use zero to never delete backups. Um, important to know, uh, scheduled backups directory. I'm going to set it to outside public group. That's that other folder. Um, and I guess we really should create a destination uh, of a daily and a, and a weekly after reading this more closely. Um, usually I just use one, one site per, but it, other files in the directory will get deleted 
if you specify a limit. So we've got a limit of five, so everything is going to cl get clear except for those five. So I'm going to go go back and uh, create separate directories. But for right now, this will work. Uh, save my schedule, and I'm going to create a new one. Uh, and this one's going to be the weekly backup schedule using the weekly profile. Uh, I'm going to keep four because I want to keep about a month's back. Uh, and I'm going to set it to be outside my public group. Save it. And now I've got my SQL backed up. Um, er, oops, i got to edit this. See the frequency once a day. I don't want it to run once a day. I want it to run once uh, a week. It's a weekly backup. So outside public root, and the, there's my profile. You use the profiles that I want. Once a week, once a day, it's going to back the this one's going to get back to once a day, this one's going to get back to once a week. That way I've got a month back. That's outside my public group, so the public can't access it. And uh, that's my SQL database backup. So if I got my cron set correctly, it runs automatically. So I hope that was easy enough. If you got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments or send me a message or let me know because that's pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, part two is coming up. It'll be on creating. Uh, doing the file side of it, uh, backing up files. That one you can use with um, Windows if you know how to, but I'm going to use it. I'm going to do it on a, on a Linux box as a cron job there.